I'm very passionate about my career, um, uh, my field, um, because I get to really impact lives. I get to impact lives on a safety level as well as the future and the direction of our, um, our young people. The aspects of the community that have positively impacted my work are when we are able to uh, save a life, absolutely, uh, save homes and property. Um, even when we just go out and speak with the kids and know that we've taught them something that could later help them in life. So there have been a few barriers and, and challenges that I've experienced with my career. One so are uniforms. You know, not many people think that um, uniforms are a big deal, but they are. Um, when I first started, it was very hard for them to find shoes for me. Um, we wear a pack on our back. It's so big, it's so long, I have a small tarso. So, you know, even that was challenges. They had to try to find something that wasn't so long that I could be able to put on my back comfortably. So it's just simple things like that that we as women, our minorities experience in the fire service because, you know, for over a hundred years, we, we weren't in the fire service, so nobody had to think about it. So bringing us into the fire service, a lot of things came up and they had to make changes. I feel like we need more women in leadership roles because women bring a different element and we should all, all organizations should reflect the, the diversity of their community. So I feel it's important that women have a seat at the table um, because you want uh, ideas and opinions from everybody and you want everybody to feel included to best meet the needs of the people that you're serving. Living in the city, uh, the metro Atlanta area has really afforded me the opportunity to grow professionally. Um, I do understand that not every woman has that opportunity. I have taken advantage of uh, the things that have been put before me, but it was not easy. But I don't want anybody to, to get discouraged with the path that they choose, that they walk in, because nothing comes easy. You have to work hard. You have to build that support system. You have to have that network. And you have to make sure you have a mentor that's able to guide you and really tell the truth. And you always have to be true to yourself. I would give the advice to young women trying to break into their chosen field that create a plan, have a roadmap. There will be barriers and obstacles that will slow you down, but don't let that stop you. Keep moving forward and continue to build a network and a support system that will carry you through and just break, no, not break, shatter the glass ceiling.